hey guys so welcome back to my channel and if you guys have followed my uh, videos you will know that uh, we have been making the cloning of the DJI killer using the Arduino and in the last video we made the ESC for the coolest uh, brush DC motor which I, sh I have shown you how to do it yourself and uh, I'm really sorry that I was not able to post uh, the videos recently. I was uh, pretty busy and I had issues with this drone. So in this uh, video, I will continue making this drone. But I have a good news and a, I have a bad news for you guys. The good news is that the drone is working. And the bad news is that I fried two things in the drone. Okay. So first of all, the coolest motor one of the coolest motor got broken i tried to, when i was trying to remove it uh, but uh, i tried to repair it unfortunately the brush itself got, got broken and i was not able to repair it and i did i did have any spare part for this motor so i look in my country in mauritius here and uh, i try searching for this motor this is the 8520 motor but unfortunately uh, we don't have this one here so i have placed the order in aliexpress uh, so that i will be able to continue this project but i don't want to disappoint you guys and i have uh, come with some solutions now i don't have the 85 uh, 20 motor but i have the 70 uh 70 720 uh, coolest motor now you can see the huge difference in size here unfortunately i will not be able to connect uh, the propeller to this motor because it does not have that much torque to run this propeller this is a three inch propeller so what i have at my place is the gear system in which i can easily put the 720 motors and with a bigger propeller it should give enough thrust to uh, lift the drone so i will be uh, doing uh, the test for now with this uh, motor and propeller you can see i have uh, the four uh, four of these so i will be doing tests with this one later once i get uh, my motor I will redo this drone to make it smaller like this and do the test in this itself. But for now on, I will continue the test to check if the flight controller, the everything else is working for this one. Okay. So for that, I have designed another frame. So this will be the new frame that we will be using. You can see it's, uh, it's uh, a bit bigger than the normal one. Okay, and for this one, you just have to take the this gear system. I will be sharing the links where you can buy this, and just uh, and just uh, click it here, put it here, and it should take place. And you do this for all the four motors, and it's very easy uh, for this one. Okay. So I will I will uh, do the connection for the all the connection like we discussed earlier uh, in my previous video the ESC the the Arduino and all I will do uh, all the connection but I will uh, this time I will put everything in a single board so that uh, to avoid mess in the circuit so I'll just connect everything in the uh, single board the connection will be the same as we did earlier. Uh, but uh, you will have the connection in the screen or also in my website links will be in the description as always and I'll just do the connection and then we shall continue by uploading the code and testing the flight system. So I have already connected everything as we did in the previous videos, but I will be sharing uh, this complete circuit also on my website, which you will find the links in the description. So I have made all the uh, connection just to uh, make it a bit uh, less messy. Okay. 
and now what I will do is I will add a a 2200 microfarad capacitor between the positive and the negative of the Arduino okay so the V in we have one which is minus which will be connected to the ground or the Arduino and one which is the positive one will be connected to V in now the V in is where uh, we are supplying the voltage so this will prevent the Arduino from resetting when there is a high uh, when there is a current peak peak when starting the motors and I forgot to tell you guys that I have another problem also remember in my first video I told you that we will be using the mini boost converter to boost the voltage from the 3.7 volt to 5 volt that we will supply from the audio unfortunately it got broken and I tried to repair it unfortunately it uh, was not repaired so I have came up with uh, this two solution uh, actually so we will use the two 2200 microfarad capacitor to prevent the Arduino from resetting so I will just connect it now once soldered I'm just gonna put the battery but another thing I have to tell you guys is that I will try this with two batteries so I have made my uh, 2S battery this is a 7.4 battery which I made using two 3.7 volt battery so I had two uh, 3.7 volt uh, 600 uh, milliamp hour battery and I join uh, these two in series in order to make it 2S battery so I'll just connect it and see if everything is working fine Yes, so uh, the Arduino is powering itself and none of the, of the propellers are running. So that's a good sign that we have added the pull down resistors correctly. Now what I will do is I'll just, uh, for now, I'll just uh, glue using my hot glue. okay so i have already glued it now uh, let's upload the code and see how the drone is performing now i will be doing a final test in this video this will not be the fully the completed video the completed video will come next week so in this uh, video i will just show you how the uh, the flight controller is performing and how uh, it is it will not fly yet because i yet have to do some pid tuning in this so let's uh, upload the code and so i have connected the drone to my laptop and now i will open the multi we win gui because i have already uploaded the code in the arduino now i will explaining uh, the code uh, in the next video in this one we will do some testing first so i just connect the drone here once connected, I move to real-time data. You can see the blinking in the Arduino. That means uh, we, uh, it is connected successfully. And you can see right here, we are getting some uh, data. So this is from the, uh, from the uh, sensor. Okay, if I put in a flat surface and uh, we know that this is the front of our drone so i'll just calibrate the sensor first okay so once calibrated you can see now uh, we have our sensor well aligned in the uh, multi v wind gui so we now let's see if the NOF is working you will see on the left side on the right side of the Arduino where there is throttle pitch roll now for now for, for now I have uh, this uh, controller which I have made using uh, the 
and uh, the RF nano okay but uh, I will be do using this just for testing to see if everything is working so now let's let me just turn on the the transmitter and see in the screen you will see that the throttle pitch and roll on the right side of the multi v wind UI interface you will see that it will just change values okay you can see that it has changed because it has detected the 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 control from the throttle from the uh, transmitter now uh, if i just move the throttle you can see the value is changing so that means we are uh, good to go for the testing take this a little aside but we will be on i will only be using the throttle for now and let me just connect the 2s battery to the uh, drone right here and just put it right there and in order to be able to uh, install the motor let's just put it because the propellers will just turn on okay so to be able to run the motors what you will need to do is take the throttle this is the throttle remember i'll just put it at the at the minimum so this is the minimum i just take the throttle put it at the minimum and push the yo to the maximum you can see that the motors are now on and now if i let me just if i increase the throttle you can see the motor starts spinning okay now what i will do is just show you uh, let me just just disconnect this okay so i have my drone with me okay i'll just increase the throttle and just okay. okay you can see that the speed is changing control system is good but if I try to fly it right now, it will not uh, fly because I have to do some PID tuning. But let's try it. I'll just disconnect it. And I will just use the transmitter here. You can see but i don't have a, a good control of this because of the transmitter right now but i'll try to uh, just see if it's working fine you can see the the oscillation this is because we have not yet uh, uh, tuned the pid proportional integral and derivative uh, this uh, this is a control system that we use to stabilize the drone so we know so we we know we know that the weight is correct because you can see that it's 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 flying it's taking off so we can see that it's flying but you can see also it's not resetting itself and because we have added a 7.4 battery uh, so now what i will do is i will uh, uh, end the video here and in the next video i will tune the pid and i will uh, explain to you how to tune the pid i will explain the coding and i will uh, be uploading the code in my website also you will be able to uh, download it and do it yourself and uh, this battery does not have enough charge also so it will not it will uh, it will just fly and then you can see it just turn over this is because of the pid tuning everything else is working fine so in the next video i will be explaining how to uh, tune the pid to make your drone more stable and i will also uh, make a better uh, transmitter so that it will be easier for me to control it now i only have this one right now 
and what I will do is I will end this video here and in my next video I will explain to you uh, I, I will uh, do the a proper PID tuning and make sure that our drone fly is stable so uh, hope you enjoy this video guys and I will see you in my next video hopefully the next video will be the final video we will have a working drone so thank you guys for watching if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do so and if you like this video uh, push a like and if you have any problem concerning your project uh, you can uh, you can uh, just uh, tell me in the comment or even send me some mails i will reply to you as soon as possible